What's going on Dragon Brawlers? Scott Seven here for Players Guild, your guild master, and today I'm joined by Lucky Smith. How are you doing, sir? I made a mistake and started reading that Broly before we started, and now I don't know what to think. <laughs> well, fair enough. Uh, so today we are covering... Um, I've got we've got a nice SPR there to show you right now, but we're going to go over the promos we haven't covered for the past couple of reveals. So we've got some yellow promos, we've got some black promos, we've technically got the two reprint promos, and of course we've got the red promos. So we'll start with the new cards because that's why we're all here. Uh, we've seen Ultimate Minus Energy Powerball already. It's a nice card and it's great that it's got an SPR. Uh, let's get into Brilliant Unknown Power then. So you were saying you were reading this. Yeah. So run us through it. So it's a two drop, no specified cost, 4k power card. Mm -hmm. uh, with a permanent, if your leader card is black, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by one. Okay. Auto, when this card is played from your hand, your opponent may look at your life. Uh, okay. If they do, you draw two cards, your opponent chooses up to two cards in your life, places them in your drop area, then you add that many cards from the top of your deck to your life and shuffle. Interesting. Okay. Yes. That's not all, though. Okay. Activate main. Pay two black. If you leader card is a black Broly card. <laughs> oh, is I was going to say, is this the promo support yeah. from way back when? Oh, my God. This is hilarious. And you place one card from your life in your drop area. So you crit a life. Mm -hmm. You look at your life. And evolve up to one Broly card with an evolve skill from your life on top of this card. Shuffle your life and you can't play battle cards for the turn. I love this. So, for those, most people won't really know about this because it's never really that seen any play. It's it's such a niche thing. So, back when the yeah. movies got re-released in theaters, we got some promos. And one of them was the Gogeta promo. And Which the other... I think it's reprinted somewhere, isn't it? Uh, I believe... Is that yeah, collector it's in the selection Mythic Booster. Too. It's in the Mythic Booster. It's the Mythic Booster. That's the one. Oh, is that the starter deck one? I don't know. There no, is definitely a no, reprint no, no, no. of it. No, no, no. That, that was the Mythic Booster. You're right. Because we were lo uh, looking at it in the trailer. Ah, yes, yes. Uh, and then, so there was also a Black Broly. Uh, and I know a few people who have messed around with it over time and time. But to see some support for it, like this is super niche and I love it. I think it's super cool. Uh... I'm really excited to dive back into Black Broly. Like, I don't know how well it'll work, but I'm excited. And I also really love that effect of your opponent can look at your uh, life if they want. If they do draw yeah, two cards. Yeah, that's weird. But they can also choose not to, and then the card does nothing. Which is fine, though, for a one-drop, right? Like, this, like, I feel like there's so much value to this card is in, like, you can play it. Like, imagine if you're a Shenron deck. <laughs> I don't know, I, I, there's, there's so much I can see being useful for this, because why would you not want the information, right? Oh yeah, I think that just for the information, this is... Your opponent might want to do it for the information. I like the fact that you can play this as a two-drop in any deck you want. Oh yeah, 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 that's like... It's a one-drop in black which makes it fine and it, it's really cool, but it is a universal card. But uh, you are also giving your opponent an option to, for example, he's essentially going to be critting any two cards he doesn't want you to have in hand. Exactly, so if you have secret rares in life, if you've got yeah. super combos, negates, like, this, like, this is what I mean, like, so why would, like, okay, yeah, they get why two cards in hand, so technically it's a plus one, and then they refill their life from the deck, so they're not actually losing life, but you're getting to fix their life, and I love that. It's something quite new we haven't really seen stuff like this before we've seen flipping life we've seen going through it with balls but we've never really been able to go into our opponent's life like this Especially i think this is uh, the important thing here and this card is not going to work on the webcam oh god i know right it's because the be important thing here is that you as a player don't know what's in your life when yeah, they look at it it's the same Broly. thing with that vegeta um the unison Vegeta Unison. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's, it's problematic for webcams, but it's still a cool card to have in the card game. Uh, and I really, really like this. Um, yeah, and also the Activate main, we'll see how that evolves. I'm, I'm really excited to dive back, in, back, back into Black Broly. And 
I wonder if we'll see more support for Black Pearly in future. I would love that. I genuinely would love that because that leader's never really been playable in any meta sense of the word. So I'm excited to see the future of it. This is why we love the promos, how they are doing them now. Because decks like this, and we'll get onto Sex 6 Gohan in a bit. Like, oh, it's just so great to see. This is what promos should be if they're not uh, all reprints, right? Like, supporting yeah. those old types, and it's great. So let's get into Mira, Vow to the Creator. Oh, wow, that actually rhymes. That, okay, all right. Uh, so it's a free cost, 0 5k combo. Overrealm free, harkening back to when we first got Overrealm. I like that. Auto, when this card is played, draw one card and choose up to one card in your hand and send it to your warp. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, then we have a Union Absorb for free black energy. If you have four or more energy and you place one Toa card from your warp, that makes sense now, under this card, if your leader card is Toa, or Android card, choose up to mm -hmm. one mirror card when it's cost of seven or less in your hand, or warp and play it on top of this card in active mode. So this can also swing early if it needs to. Oh, I really like this. So this is a support for the old Toa leader. I'm saying old Toa leader, the first Toa leader. Mm. Uh, Toa, uh, this can work in Finn, which leads more credence to the fact that we might be getting... Um, is it an Android? Yeah, Finn's an android. Yeah. Um, we're leading um, more credence to the fact that we might get super mirror Finn absorbed as the boss monster for the deck rather than dark um, Gogeta, which is fine. I like that. I love mirror. I mean, creator absorbed, right? It's an iconic card. Like, Yeah, yeah. A creator absorbed is a problematic card. <laughs> well, yeah, that too. Um, like, it, it, it's definitely uh, had some... Uh... It's still... Even though it gets the... Uh, power for the turn, not forever. It's still a. It's stupid how big that card gets. Yeah, and if you have got no negates or anything for it, it's it's brutal. You you're, you're um, not getting over it. You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll super combo. Okay, I didn't draw anything else. Okay, bye bye. I get uh, I get creator absorbed into oblivion. Yeah. Um, so I really that was the free energy kill on two life, right? Creator mm. absorbed. Uh, Champa and Badring Laser. Oh, such a brutal combo. Um, I uh, love I love having unions, Union Absorb on an Overrealm. Mm. I think it's great. I think that four energy is a bit maybe too much, but obviously the card you'll be playing with it is a very strong card, like we yeah. said, Creator Absorbed. I'm almost certain we're going to see more mirrors in the future now based on where the game's like going and what it's setting up. I mean, Mira comes around every way. I mean, Toa and Mira are staples of the Dragon Ball Heroes franchise. They're not going to go anywhere. Um, what I would like to see is yeah. a, a cell cards that are black green. Oh, that'd and be very then... interesting. Because we have Cell Xeno, right? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it could be potentially black green. I can see that. Actually, that's a really good shout. I don't hear that. And then at all. you could essentially bridge the gap between black and green energy in any an uh, green android, uh, because this is any android leader. Yeah, yeah, it can be played in green ones. Yeah, green ones, yellow ones, blue ones. Do oh we yeah, have we have android, android eighteen. Leader? Yeah, we have android eighteen. I was like, wait, do we have blue android? Yeah, we do. We do. We do have a blue android. Um, we have. 18, 17, 21. 16, 21. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's lots of cool... I, I really... Like, Black Promo's amazing. Nothing super broken, but very interesting cards. And a, a lot of that focus on legacy support, which you love to see. You love to see. It's what we've been talking about. Uh, so let's move on to Yellow Promos. So this Tails is absolutely amazing. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand people who say that the auto is irrelevant. Irrelevant. I mean, take us through it, take us through it. So it's a 4-drop with one specified yellow, 20,000 power dual attack. Permanent, if an opponent's battle card would be KO'd by this card's attack, gain control of it instead. You may switch it to active mode. This and auto, uh, spirit boost, 1. When this card is played from your hand, choose up to one face-up battle card in your opponent's life and play it in your opponent's battle area in rest mode with its skills negated for the game. Why, that's so good. So, uh, the argument is that the yellow doesn't flip your opponent's life face up, and the green needs all mono green energy to flip the life face up. Okay. That is all true, because the tree actually does need the 
uh, all of the mono green energy to flip the life face up. Okay. But when all of their life is face up, and you choose the damage that you deal to them with the green turtles, what's stopping you on that last turn to charge one yellow and play this when they have one life and it's a battle card? Oh my god, yeah, does this just kill them? Yes. Yeah, this is awesome. This is Ben. People aren't realizing this. Because uh, I would be in the same boat as everyone else in talking about this. If it wasn't for the fact that it has one specified yellow. Yeah, it's so low. Uh... Things in your deck. Uh, and those in your deck. And you can charge yellow when you want. Play one. If they're on two life, sure. You play one, then play another one next turn. I like this. I really like this. I read this card as this can close in the games. Yeah. They can't they need to stop this from having a skill when played. Yeah. Or stop you from having a unison. Yeah. Which with Demigra Demigra like... and the tree above very hard to Exactly. This is awesome. Yeah, I didn't even put that together. Yeah, wow. This can close the games. I was more focused on the synergy with the green stuff, because obviously if you gain control of something, then you use the old uh, Ginyu engine. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, the, the, the fact that this is technically burn. Um, imagine if the face-up card is just a 4k. No, it's worse than burn because it doesn't deal damage, so you can't gain that life back. That's true, you just take a card and put it on the board with its skills. And yeah. Game. Yeah, uh, Tails is awesome. Br <laughs> brutal indeed, it ends that namesake. Uh, yeah, that's a very brutal persuasion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I really love this next card. Sex 6, Gohan support. Uh, so it's a 1 drop, 1 specified yellow, Sun Gohan, Might Unleashed, a 0, 5k, 4k base. It's our new standard for 1 drop 4ks. It's a cantrip, so when you play it, you draw a card. But it also has this super... But we're important secondary auto of auto limit one pay two yellow. If your leader card is a yellow saying card, I love how it's not forced into that original Gohan leader. It could be anything, uh, well, any yellow saying. When this card is played from your hand, you may choose one Sun Goku Guardian Angel in your deck or hand. Place it under this card. If you do choose up to one finishing blow Sun Gohan in your hand and play it. On top of this card, shuffle your deck if you look for it. Uh, so, only downside is you have to have the finishing blow in hand, which you know it, it is what it is. Uh, but paying two to go into that boss monster is awesome. Yeah, I pay three. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or yeah, pay one to play it and then pay two to pay do two. the auto. Oh, yeah, pay three. And the finishing blow only works if your opponent has four or more energy and you have seven or more cards in your drop. Which, that's doable. That's very doable. But yeah, uh, it becomes a 30k dual attack double strike. Which, I, I like And rest that. all of the energy. Yes. I think that's the important thing there. It's just... Ah, it's so cool. I love to see it. Will it make the deck meta? I don't know. But I just... I, the fact that now we have even more ways to turbo into it, I'm really excited. The fact that it gets the Guardian Angel from the deck or hand, sticks it under, it just makes it all come together that much more nicer. And yeah, I, I'm a real, I'm a big fan of it. I'm a big fan of it. A good card. I think it's a nice way to support the old archetypes. Yeah. And let's get into the red ones. So we have Raditz, uh, sock, uh, hand puppet, go uh, Sorry, inv in invitation. I can't see it. What? The, no one else point. Look, look. It looks like he's got oh, Gohan as a I feel puppet. Sorry, I mean, are you surprised why Gohan is crying? No, no, I'm not. Like. <laughs> Sock Puppet Gohan, I, I, I can't unsee it, I, I, it's just there, but it's a free drop, 0, 5k, 19k. You can base. actually see Raditz's hand behind his hat, though. Ah! That's, oh, that's... <laughs> Does that make it better? I, I think, yeah, because then he's holding you up by the, uh, yeah, by the, the top of his collar. Still, though, it looks like he's a fucking Sock Puppet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, barrier blocker permanent if your opponent has a has a Saiyan card in play in their battle area reduce the energy of cost of this card in your hand by one 
I mean, we're playing Dragon Ball Super card game. Most of them. E <laughs> every other deck has... No, sorry, majority of the decks have some Saiyans in it. Yeah, I mean... If Piccolo didn't. I mean, uh, like the worst case, right? Like, you stick this in uh, King Vegeta. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Uh, when this card is played from your hand, choose up to one of your uh, up to one Saiyan card with 5k power or less in your opponent's battle area and gain control of it. It's not original power. Yeah. I love I this. Red is all about minusing. And yeah. if you oh, just imagine minusing some of the really good red Saiyan boss monsters we have in this game and just then being like, it's also, is it not mono red? It's not mono red, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I just imagined someone playing the big Broly, a secret. <laughs> just minus it down and then just be like, I'm going to take that with Raditz. <laughs> I'm going to take that? <laughs> or, or like mine? the... Uh, or Yank? <laughs> you could take Apex with it. Yeah. <laughs> you could take Apex, you could take uh, Koku with Freezer. I mean, you can take an uh, Awakened Power. It doesn't take only red ones. Oh. It takes Stay in. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow, that's actually really good. There's no word red on it. So this is actually really good because it can take Yeah, cards... you can grab Awakened Power. You could grab whatever you can reduce the power of. It, you can take... Uh, even the when this card attacks, take life thingy. So you can take, say, in Cabra if you really want it. Yeah. Um, and also it works and really good against the hybrids. Blocker. Yeah, a 19k barrier blocker for two. That is huge. I think Raditz actually would be quite happy to play this. Mm. Really good card. Really good card. I think a lot of people are underestimating this card. Um, yeah. Sock Puppet, go on. Uh, is a great card. And then we have Encounter. This card I just love from the, for the, for the uh, thematic standpoint. I don't really think it's that good of a card. But I, I'm happy to be prove, proven wrong. So it is a one drop, one specified red. Activate me and look at to the top seven cards. From the top of your deck, add up to one mono red Videl or Broly card. When it's cost a four or less among them and add them to your hand, shuffle your deck. Activate battle, choose up to one of your opponent's cards. It gets minus 10k for the battle. It's not bad. It's a one cost minus 10 in battle. It's it's fine. I just love it's the thematic. Technically, it. It's technically better than uh, one cost 10k combo because you can remove the target from board potentially. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I can, I can and, understand and that. And yeah. stop the whole attack. Like, and obviously uh, the idea is Broly can use it from the drop. Yeah. Um, uh, what else? I like the fact that it bridges the gap between that uh, Goten and Broly decks. Mm. It is a card that can be used by both. We haven't really seen that in yeah. the uh, in the main set. So it is nice. And like, like I said, the FEMAC aspect of it, really cool. Uh, whether it's a card that I'm gonna, I think is gonna see much play, I don't think so. I mean, it could be a niche card, and it could be a great utility for decks that need that extra minus power. But in terms of I like Broly, I just think it's like you just be wasting space with this card. I think Broly will actually run this just to be able to find that four drop. Oh, so using the activate main as an activate main and just yeah, if it needs not to, for the activate battle for the activate main. I think the same might be true any deck that's going to be running that Videl. Because that Videl is an amazing counterplay. That is true. That I do really like that Videl. So yeah, okay. I guess you're more... Being able to find her easily, I think. And counter... Uh, easily. Easier. The counter is going to be a decent enough card. Provided you have enough targets in your deck. Yeah. So I think... Oh, actually. Uh, hmm. This can find the negate Videl as well. Yeah. The one drop Videl from... Oh, this can find Crown. Actually, no, I'm changing my mind on this. Oh yeah, four or less, it can find crown. So you can find a lot of utility. Yeah, stuff. actually, yeah, I've actually, <laughs> I've, I literally just tweeted. I was like, ah, wait, actually, no, it can find quite a few good things. Yeah. It's also not it's locked, so if you're playing multicolor, you might be able to get away with it. Like, is it? Yeah. Like, you just got to find a mono red card, but like, multicolor decks can mo run mono cards. Not unheard of. Like, we've seen crown. In yeah, but decks. a, a surge is not running that many mono red cards. No, that's true. But it's not lead a lot, so you, like if you're running yeah, red yeah, green, yeah. just anything. Ah, it's interesting. Interesting card. I've come a bit more around to it now that I've actually thought about it. But uh, yeah, we'll see. And then we get onto this zero cost. Get that monster! This card is phenomenal. I love it yes. so much. But Take I don't understand why effect. this card exists. 
Tech us through this effect. So activate battle, limit one. If your leader card is a red Shenron card, we have one, one red Shenron card. If this doesn't tell you that there's going to be more wish cards that, in future. That's what I'm expecting, and that's what we've been expecting for a year. Is the next block actually going to be coming back to Wish? I would oh, love that. I, I, like, I mean, to be fair, like the Unison of Warrior series, we've seen a revival of a lot of old decks. We we technically know a spoiler from the not next set, the set after is going to be Cooler Army Squadron support. So uh, We also know that the next set is going to have another Black Gogeta leader. Do we? Yeah, BT-16. It was spoiled as a prize card for... Uh, bureaus. Oh, for the Continentals. What? Whatever it is. Was it? Yeah. Was it? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Are you not confusing I... it with a set 12, Gojia? Scroll, 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 <laughs> scroll, scroll, scroll. Uh, while, scroll. while you're doing that, so, one red Shenron leader, we currently only have Oolong in the game, I believe. Uh, add up to one Dragon Ball card from your deck to your hand, shuffle your deck. That's fine, that's an activate battle, that's a zero, it's, it's cool. Uh, this is where it gets really spicy. Add up to one red desire card. An energy cost of one or two from your deck to your hand. Then shuffle your deck. You obviously search out uh, familial bonds with this. This is such a great target for familial bonds. And while P is still reading, uh, look, he's still reading. Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> I lost. I lost everything. <laughs> he's gone. He's all up in the loopy de loop. Um, so yeah, like so, you can go into familiar bonds. I'm sure there's other red desire cards out there, but the, ah, it's just so good. Like if, if you're running, um... uh, I mean, you can search the one that lets you draw tons of cards, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Oolong, whatever it was. Yeah, that's true. I can't remember the name of it, but yeah, I know which one you're on about. Um. Oolong's yeah. Wish. Uh, one drop if you lead a card, it's a card, draw one card, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and it gets minus 5k power for the turn. Uh, and then you had an Oolong that could draw two cards if you had that in your drop. Yeah. So Then like... there is a King Pickle Wish, Familiar Bonds, and Birth of a Super Saiyan. Oh, I forgot about Birth of a Super well. Saiyan. So it was Beth. never played because it was released after Wish was already dead. Yeah. But I, I do love, I love this, and, like, it's not crazy to expect that Wish is coming back, because we've seen it with this card, we've seen it with the black promo Shamron card, we've seen it with the blue coming card, Has Desire, the slowly, uh, the anniversary box um, from last year, the Chi Lai and Limo card, that was a Desire, so... There's... Yeah, but that one was for the Chile and Limo Shenron. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That, 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 I'll give you that, that is fair. But it's still another desire in 2020. <laughs> when when there's a, had no right to be desire cards. I just don't understand. They print so many different desires. I, I'm hoping, I'm, I'm hoping we see Wish again. And this gives me the most signs of it. So, fingers crossed, Bandai. Hear our call. We summon the Bandai Overlord. Give us some wish again. We got it with Mechikobura, but it's not a true wish leader. Um, it doesn't do what... It doesn't I mean, use desires, right? It's a desireless yeah. wish leader. Um, I mean, by all means, give us black desire cards. And I'm, I'm not going to complain at that. That work with Mechikobura. Um, but yeah, overall, what do you make of the promos so far? A notice noticeable downgrade in power level from previous promos. Yes, there's definitely a noticeable power, uh, power downgrade downsizing and they're definitely looking to support the under supported archetypes it's just that <clears throat> they had an amazing opportunity to actually make a gotten wish leader this set with this card yeah 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 no, I, I see that i just don't understand why they didn't nor do i nor do i I love the wish format way too much. Yeah, I mean that was your crowning achievement. You were you were running around with Super Seventeen. It was a great, it was a great, a great time to be a, a Dragon Ball player. I and yeah. I, I do, I do miss it because obviously we went from wishing to Infinite Unity or whatever the hell Multicolor was called, and then from that we've gone into Unison Warrior. Technically we were in Unison Warrior still, but it's like the boost which is now coming back and supporting older archetypes. So yeah. 
if if there's any time to bring back Wish, I feel like it's now in a format where there's so many great cards. Having some nice new Wish leaders would be awesome, and having a nice a Red Saiyan Wish leader would be really nice. Um, not just Oolong running around with panties. Although I still love that Oolong deck. I am very nostalgic for the Oolong deck because essentially you would run it, then you would go into Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta Secret, uh, uh, not Gogeta, Goku, and then just keep going and going and going. Like you would literally just uh, yeah. like you would beat down. It was great. It was a great deck. Um, so that's it for today, guys. Let us know what you think of the promos of the uh, the Black Broly coming back. That's exciting in and of itself. Sock Puppet Raditz, let me know in the comments below, and we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, before we do go, at uh, 7pm tonight, check out Fighters Part 2, Casters Part 1, I can't remember. Casters, Casters Part 1. Of Hearthstone, so hit the like button on those and keep commenting on those, guys, it really does help. The algorithm helps more people see it, and we are growing because of it, so guys, keep on supporting that. Dragon Ball's not going anywhere, but Hearthstone, look, he's obsessed with it. it. So. Yeah, sorry, I'm way too obsessed with that. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. And Loki, we'll see you later tonight. I, I forgot how to tab. There we go. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.